So let's say you just started your residential cleaning company, you have the, the business formed, you have the LLC or the corporation set up, you have everything ready to go, uh, ready for your launch date. And, and it's, time to, it's time to start collecting your estimate requests. It's time to start filling that calendar with estimate requests. So I'm going to share with you uh, five of my favorite sources for generating estimate requests, for generating leads, for generating estimate requests, and for generating clients. The five of them are, the first one is uh, local service ads, Google's local service ads. It is a bit different than Google's search ads or PPC ads. It's still, pay per, it's you're paying per lead instead of per click with Google's local service ads, but you're not allowed to advertise unless you are eligible with their program and you have to be vetted by them. Um, honestly, it is a very simple process, but uh, it, it will weed out people um, who or companies who are not legitimate. So if you have your, uh, your businesses formed and you have uh, liability insurance already, you can go ahead and apply uh, for Google's local service ads program and you it's really a cheat code as far as client acquisition because um, you're only paying for the lead when someone actually reaches out to you. You're not paying for uh, useless or clicks or anything like that. It's, it's, it's an actual lead. It's usually a phone call. Uh, next one is Google's search ads. So this one is PPC where you're paying for every single click. Uh, you're targeting certain keywords um, that you think are going to convert best and uh, go from there. So we have ours ours pretty nailed down over the last few years. We have a lot of data inside our Google Ads account that we can use to make better decisions um, in terms of uh, deciding which keywords to target and which ones to kill. Um, the proof is in the pudding. We, we may think a certain keyword is, is perfect, uh, as it will, will be conducted by a, a perfect client. Um, but that's not always the case. So it's it's really important to go back into your search ads and seeing uh, which which keywords are, are, are performing at an optimal rate and which aren't. Because being able to double down on your winners is just as much of a skill as uh, cutting your, your losers or vice versa, whichever way I meant that. Um, my third favorite source is Facebook ads. Um, you can notice a trend here. I like paid ads um, simply because you can just, if anyone can really just throw up a few dollars and start advertising and generating new business right away. Not anyone with local service ads, but any eligible business owner. The, the barrier to entry has been completely eliminated um, and anyone can learn to do this. It's just a matter of uh, having the time to do so. Whereas before you had to know the person um, years and years and years ago in terms of marketing and having the connections. You needed to know these people to be able to get you those marketing slots where now you can just set up an account, create an account and, and build out your campaigns and go from there. Uh, Facebook ads is just, it, it's to me, it is so easy uh, because you're, you really just have to put yourself in front of all of the homeowners in your area. Like that's it. Anyone who's a homeowner is for sure a potential client. Now you can't really pick out your perfect client from there because some people are just <laughs> jerks. But really, if you put yourself in front of homeowners in your area, you're, you, you've got a good bet. You're going to be generating leads pretty quick. Uh, with Google search ads, of course, those same people are going to Google and making that specific search. So they're already in the mindset of, of, of transacting, basically. They're already in the business mindset of, you know what, I'm, I'm looking for a cleaning company. I'm probably going to hire them as well. Uh, so being able, if you show up in the places where people are searching, you have a much higher advantage. I think I talked about that briefly in, in, in the very last episode here. Um, but whereas Facebook ads, you're just always being, you're, you're, you're doing whatever you can to stay top of mind 
uh, to every homeowner in your area. It's very easy to do. Uh, Bark.com, B-A-R-K.com, is one that I stumbled across about three months ago. It's a website where uh, homeowners or just... It's not just homeowners. Honestly, they got a ton. Anyone can go to Bark.com and find a contractor, a reputable contractor. You can find web designers, landscapers, cleaning companies, um, plumbers, electricians, HVAC, photographers, all sorts of service-based professionals. But what you're going to do As the business, you're going to join as the professional. And so now Bark is going to be able to find leads, already submitted leads in your area for the for the designated services that that you provide. So we do residential cleaning. We the first day I logged in, there were like four leads already in there. Uh, Bark.com is generating these leads themselves and basically reselling it to people like us. Um, so we're just leveraging their traffic. I mean, if people come, come to us interested in house cleaning services, we don't really care where they came from, but I'm finding that bark.com does a really good job of, of generating this interest. And again, you're not, this is a pay per lead as well. Like you're not paying for anything other than a lead. Like you're getting, you're getting their name and their contact information. It's not like you're paying for a click or just to show up in front of a thousand eyeballs, you know? you're getting the actual lead. And then my uh, fifth uh, favorite source, I kind of cheated because it's all in one. I don't really know how to categorize this, but I'm just going to call it inbound or content. But I could also call it like, you know, social media content or uh, website content or SEO. What I mean here is like content, stuff that you create and then publish online to educate or provide value for your market. A blog post on your website. So we're a cleaning company. We'll say, you know what, how to get red wine stains out of shaggy carpet is one of our blog posts. The blog post is going to tell that person how to get red wine out of shaggy carpet and help them do the best job at it. Right there, we helped them out. We deposited a little bit of value. They're probably not going to hire us because they don't need a house cleaning service. They just need to know how to get red wine out of out of their carpet. But now that they remember that we did this, they know they know we're a cleaning company. They came to our website. They know we're a cleaning company. We helped them get their red wine out of their carpet. Eight months later, they decide, you know what? I really knew, I would love to have a biweekly uh, a cleaning company come in here uh, every other week weekly cleaning service. They're going to remember us. They're going to go to Google and they're going to search it and they're going to come right to us and call us or they're going to fill out the form. When that happens, if people have search intent and they are specifically searching for you, every other business stands almost no chance, even if they show up ahead of you in the search rankings, even if they're buying ads uh, on Google, because that person is, if they go in and type in custom maids, Bay City, Michigan, they are looking for custom maids. They are not looking for speedy cleans or merry maids or two, two maids in a mop or whatever. They are looking for custom maids. So even if they were to submit a form and that company calls out, reaches out to them and it's not custom maids, they will say, I'm sorry, I'm going, I, like we're moving on. And so they already, you've already helped them out there in the way before, eight months prior So now you're being rewarded with that opportunity now. So if you have, let's say 500 to 1,000 of these pages on your website, floating around on the internet, working for you 24 seven, you don't think you're going to have sales opportunities (laughs) coming coming from places you didn't even know existed. So that's why I kind of cheated with my fifth source because it's hard to wrap it all in one. Like if you, You can take one blog post and cut it up into a Twitter thread or multiple Twitter threads or Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, uh, videos. So you can use one article or one blog post for many different things. You don't have to create seven different pieces of content to just hit all these areas. You can repurpose and redistribute all of this stuff and use it over and over and over again. Just make it really valuable and, 
and you're going to see six months from now, you're going to see it, 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 it gain traction. Um, but the thing with content, the thing with this fifth one is that most folks don't have the patience. They don't have the time for it because, um, if anyone could go and publish for just a week straight about their business and, and build a, a huge empire would be a piece of cake, but no, the universe, God puts out the persistence test for reasons like this, many, many other reasons as well, to see who's going to provide the value and who's going to do it consistently enough and long enough and who deserves to be there, who deserves to soak up all of those sales opportunities. The persistence test is used to find that out. So you're not going to get it if you just publish for a week or a month or three months and say, you know what, I'm not getting any business. You will get business, but you don't even know what it, what it'll be like a year from now. It's, it's wild how once that start, that stuff starts getting, gaining traction. But at the end of the day, I'm a paid ads guy just simply because of how quickly you can drum it up. Uh, But once you marry that with your inbound, with your SEO and your content, it's wild. Um, you're pushing your ads to find uh, new new fans, new new prospects, and, and your content then sells sells whatever it is for you, sells what you're selling. Um, it nurtures that relationship, it builds that trust, and eventually someday that person is going to decide that they need you or that they need your services. And because you were there, you help them out they're going to choose you. Um, If you have any questions about content, any questions about paid ads, generating leads for home services in in a local market anywhere in the U.S. or anywhere, really, reach out. You've got our email address. You've got our contact information. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help you out. Talk to you soon.